so another team that can clinch an outright district championship on Friday night is Lorena. So we talked about the Leopards' impressive performance in the win over Franklin on the after dark. But mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit more about Braylon Henry. Uh, so Braylon started out the season, um, the 2022 season, at linebacker. And then he moved to safety, and he was a second-team Super Syntex player. Uh, we had him on our preseason Super Syntex team as a first-team player at that position. Uh, but lately, he has impacted games most at his running back position. So rushed for 106 yards, solid against China Spring in the season opener. But then the next two games, uh, he had 14 carries for 72 yards. You know, whatever. Uh, in the six games since, this is what he's gone for. 192, 253, 288, 131, 236, 255, and 17 touchdowns. Uh, so is Braylon one of those guys that wherever you put him, he's going to make an impact? And are there other Central Texas players you feel like could be that guy? What do you think? Well, uh he still, I mean, he's in there pretty much every play of the game or a lot of plays in the game. The, their ability to use to use Blaze Smedshammer has been big, uh, has been big as well at running back. Um, uh, but, you know, the other night, I mean, he uh, against Franklin, you could put the ball in his hands and it was sometimes a big play waiting to happen. Mm. Um, or a lot of the time they put the ball in his hands and it was a big play waiting to happen. And uh yeah, he has a huge impact on the game. The other thing is, uh, and I think this is what makes Lorena so good, and Lorena, a team that could go in and beat number one Franklin, is that if you if you commit everybody to stopping Braylon Henry, Caden Robinson, Caden Caden Roberts in their passing game will beat you. Mm. You know, um, the other night, uh, game winning drive, Caden Roberts hit a couple of key passes, uh, conversion passes that, that kept the drive moving. And if not for that, if they if the other team can stack it and 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 you know key on Braylon Henry and that that passing game is not like that, then they don't win that game, right? right. So it's a very complimentary situation they've got going there in a, in a good way. And let's not overlook Caden Roberts' 1,700 passing yards this season plus 600 rushing yards. Uh, um, but um, in terms of one player impacting a game for in, in Central Texas, um, there's probably a few in the category with Braylon, but he's kind of our uh, he's kind of one of our superstars right now. He's been around for for a long time playing for Lorena, and and you know has lots of skins on the wall, as they say. Yeah, no doubt, DJ. Yeah, I mean, um, and if you remember, I mentioned in my. Uh, column this week I feel like we're just gonna have to pick names out of a hat to <laughs> pick super syntax because mm. <laughs> we've got a lot of really good guys especially in that offensive category but um you know, when I, I got to talk to Braylon when they beat West earlier in the season and he's just uh one of those kids that's got locker room presence I think I feel like he's he's a leader uh both on the field in the locker room probably in school um and, and he's just you know was smiling all around you know he's one of those kids that just is having fun so I think that has a lot to do with it and um yeah for sure Lorena's got other other guys that can make an impact even uh, considering that some of their top guys haven't played the whole season and Jim Porter and Casey Taylor for whatever reason injuries and stuff um you know the people stepping up to fill in those roles are really you know driving this team forward as well so I mean you've got Colin Hill who's their top receiver obviously Ken Roberts has been doing it as a bit of a dual threat quarterback who hasn't had a lot of attention on him um or at least not from us this season and uh you know they they really got the pieces together um and obviously I, it, like talking to coach Johnson that their key really was just getting better every week, which, you know, for a lot, a lot of times it feels like coach speak and it feels repetitive, but really it's that simple. So. Yeah. Uh, maybe when we have the super syntax meeting, we'll go over to John Werner's house 
and we'll play darts on his dartboard. <laughs> <laughs> and just, uh, yeah, we'll just put names on the dartboard and, and flick them. Uh, yeah, you know, another guy I think that probably deserves mention as a guy I feel like could play multiple positions, has has played multiple positions, and he's doing it at the 5A level, and that's London Smith. Um, you know, he has... I think they've used him more, you know, not, and I'm going to say exclusively as a, as a receiver this year, but uh, you don't want to burn a guy out. That's the one thing. It, and mm. you got to give it up for guys in like 2A that are playing two two ways all the time. You know, all those Mark kids are going both ways. But um, I, I think I have seen the game I covered of university. I think London did see some action on defense, but I, I want to say he gets the bulk of his snaps now at receiver, um, but certainly played some DB last year. I want to say he had four or five interceptions. So he's another guy I feel like, you know, let's say Cade Bynum went down for university. Could London Smith take a snap and maybe get you some yards? I think so. I mean, you know, he's that kind of dude. So uh, yeah, we like those guys.